is Medicaid long-term health care a scam? Is it a scam or not? Tell us, KC. All right, but look, I'm going to give you the answer to this question and probably a million more questions. All you got to do is stick around to the end, and I'm going to help you out as much as I can. All right? So look, first of all, if you don't know who I am, my name is Kion Church. I'm your in-home health care guy. Look, I can help you with everything concerning in-home health care, how to get paid uh, as a caregiver, how to get a paid aid if you're the member of the insurance, you know what I mean? All these good things that come together, we want to put a little stability in your life. We want to get it popping for you, you know what I mean, right away. So look, who do I love to help? We help financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through, guess what? Through the Medicaid long-term health care program. Now listen, we only doing that for one reason, you know what I mean? I believe that everybody looking out for somebody other than themselves deserves some stability in their life. So we want to connect that paycheck to your pocket, baby. That's what it's all about. If you're here with me right now, you either need a paycheck in your pocket or you know somebody that needs a paycheck in their pocket, all right? So look, if you're here with me in a live, hashtag live. If you're here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. All right, I just put this stuff on my lips so I know they look funny. Don't be looking at me like I'm crazy. So look, a guy hit me on uh, on YouTube today and he said, KC, that's a scam. He said, that Medicaid long-term health care, he said, it's a scam, man. It don't work. I, I, you know what I mean? People in other states, they don't know how to get paid. See, right now, if you with me, you fortunate because I'm going to break it all down to you. I share all the good information that I got. You know what I mean? See, a lot of other people, they don't really know how to, you know, move along through this thing. They don't know how to navigate. So, of course, they're going to think it's a scam. You know what I mean? It's a lot of people like this guy that left the left the uh, the review. He can't even read. He don't even know. For, I'm going to tell you straight up. He don't even know Medicaid exists in 50 states. He, I don't know. Everybody not as bright as you. You know what I mean? Some people don't know. Like, KC could have never made up this word called Medicaid and all these people that's in the Medicaid, uh, getting Medicaid insurance and that's in the long-term health care. A lot of people don't know. So, if you don't know or if you slow, you going to think it's a scam. But if you with me and, you know, we getting that money from the ground up, baby, you going to know that this is official tissue and you need to be in on it. All right. So, look, I'm going to break down the three things because it's like three steps to getting you some uh, Medicaid long term care services. Now, listen, if y'all think this is a game, I don't know. Three steps to Medicaid long term care services. Now, if anybody here needs the link, you know what I mean? I can get you this booklet. If you live in Delaware, uh, 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 any county that you live in, if you live in Delaware, this booklet is for you. It's going to teach you everything that you need to know, how you can get this care. If you use a caregiver, it'll tell you how you can collect that paycheck. It's not going to spell it out for you like that. You might need an interpreter, but it's going to tell you everything. So listen, if you're in Medicaid, this conversation is for you that I'm going to give you. If you're not in Medicaid, you're going to need to get into Medicaid and then into the long-term health care program. Now, it's real easy. I already got those steps on another video, but you're here with me now. So I want to tell you about how to get into the Medicaid LTSS or what's more commonly known as long-term care. All right. So look, the first thing that they're going to do, they want to check your eligibility. Now, why would they want to do that? You know what I mean? Well, it's a special program, you know what I mean? So although you are Medicaid, you know what I mean? You want to get into this special program, they want to talk to you. They want to check you out, you know what I mean? They want to check your eligibility. That's what it's all about. See if you're eligible. People call me all day. They say, hey, KC, man, uh, I want to see, uh, can I be a paid caregiver? I say, look, give me your mother's name and date of birth, and I'll call in and check her eligibility, you know what I mean? Miss Ludi, how you doing today? Hashtag live if you're here with me in the live. Hashtag rebroadcast if you're here with me in the rebroadcast. Also, if you got a good question, you got a comment or something, you scared to put it on the, on the, on the book, text me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Any comments, any questions that you got, I'm going to make sure that I answer them for you either before the end of this you know, broadcast or I got you on the next one. Don't even worry about it, player. We good. We good. All right. So look, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to check your eligibility. Now, how do they check your eligibility? Easy. This is something you don't even have to worry about. You know what I mean? The uh, the uh, 
I don't know. The, the, the money is in the bag with this one because you're already eligible. You're in Medicaid. You made it this far. And you honest to God got some kind of reason where you deserve to be in long-term care. So what are they going to do? They're going to call. They're going to consult your doctor. They probably will call your doctor, but they're going to consult your doctor. If you live in Delaware, they got this, uh, this fancy computer system and um, they can just go from the insurance company and link straight to the doctor and they can just ask them questions like, boop, 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 boop. how you feel about church? Do he uh, belong in this program? Doctor say, yeah, he, you know, this is a, uh, this is a uh, diagnosis X, Y, Z, you know, he's the kind of person that would be able to benefit in being in that program. All right. So look, I'm going to give you a pro tip. You here with me now. So you smarter than the average bear. Let me give you a pro tip. Number one pro tip for uh, getting your eligibility straight for this Medicaid long-term health care program. This is what I want you to do. I want you to call your doctor. Call your doctor. You know what I mean? You put the application in. First thing I want you to do is call your doctor. Sometimes I tell people, even before you put the application in, call your doctor. Now, KC, why would I call my doctor? The doctor already know me. He already know I'm good. Listen, it ain't about that. It's all about them having you on their mind. You see what I'm saying? When the people, when Medicaid calls the doctor, you want your doctor to be like, oh yeah, is this call about church? Okay, because he absolutely could benefit from this program. I'm glad that you called. You don't want the doctor that's like, oh, well, I don't know. I got to check it out. I don't know. Church been here lately. Anybody know this dude? That, let's see if he's eligible. Nah, 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 nah. Later for that. Look, I'm going to get the doc on the phone. Look, I need you. These people going to call you. When they call you, this is what you tell them because I'm trying to get in here. My needs have changed. I need, I need a little bit more, doc. You know what I mean? He's going to take care of you. Doctor is your best friend. He's your main advocate to helping you get this stuff. Now, if you haven't been to the doctor lately, regularly, and you haven't dropped off any co-pays, you know what I mean? Because co-pays is what make this thing work. The doctors get paid off of co-pays, man. I ain't, I ain't hating on no doctors. I got a couple doctors in my family. You know what I mean? But if you're not giving them co-pays up to the doctor, they might not know who you are. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so as long as you're in good standing with the doctor, you done been in there a couple times this year, they know you. You know what I mean? Now what you want to do is you're trying to get into the program. So you're going to call them. You're going to say, hey, doc, I'm trying to get into the program. When the people call you, you know, tell them that I need this. All right? It's that easy. Simple as that. Simple as that. All right? Step number two. Deuce. Two, number two, I don't know, I don't even speak Spanish, so I don't know why I went there with y'all, you know what I mean? So look, step number two, financial eligibility. Financial eligibility. Now, check this out. Super, super simple. I don't even know why they threw this one in there, you know what I mean? This is the easiest part of the exam or the three steps that you can master. This is the easiest part. You know why? Because you've already told them all your income information. Now, they may ask for it again. You know what I mean? If, if, if you moved on up to the Upper East Side, they might say, hey, uh, church, how you get over there, man? Who paying the rent on that new crib that you living at? But, you know, if your son, you know, that good dude, Mr. KC, is paying the rent, man, it, it really don't make a difference how you got there. You know what I mean? Because your income is your income. You understand what I'm saying? All right. So, look, I'm going to tell you a secret so you don't even have to be worried about this particular part. All right. Number one secret, you've already given them all your income. They know everything. They know everything, dog. And to make it even more plain and simple with you, if they didn't know everything, you wouldn't have got into Medicaid. And, you know, the guidelines for being in the long, the, the, the uh, financial eligibility to being in a long term health care program is no different than being in Medicaid. So you already in Medicaid. You ain't got to sweat this step. Check this out. This one we call Cocoa Beach. Mm. Step number two, Cocoa Beach. All right. I'm looking good. Right. Okay. Cool. So check this out. Step number three, the interview. All right. Now my screen kind of went dark. I don't know if it's dark on y'all end or not. My phone been acting funny. You know what I mean? I got, I call Verizon today. They supposed to send me a new iPhone because my joint acting silly. So look, if you here with me now and my phone acting silly on your end, hashtag live. Hashtag phone acting simple. Do something. Let me know that you're here with me. Show me some Facebook love. You know what I mean? Phil, what's going on with you, baby? How you doing over there in the Big Pebble, man? I miss you. Look, I know it's some good-hearted caregivers all around the world. You know what I mean? If you're here with me now, hashtag live. If you're here with me in a rebroadcast, 
Hashtag rebroadcast. How you doing today, young lady? I'm glad y'all was able to hit that thumbs up button, you know what I mean? If you're here with KC and you even surprised to see him on the internet, smash the wow face because that's my favorite emotion on Facebook. The wow face, you know what I mean? With them big eyes. All right, so look, let's break it down. Step number three to getting into long-term Medicaid, what's more commonly known as LTSS. What it is, it's called the interview. Now, this is a very easy stage. It's the last stage, and it probably is the easiest stage. Now, I'm going to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug this plug in a little more, see if that help. That don't look like that help. It still looks dark on my end. I don't know. Hopefully, it's all good where y'all at. You know what I mean? So, look. The interview is really like the easiest, easy, e like it's easy, easy part. You know what I mean? Because they're going to ask you. They're not going to interview nobody else. They're not going to interview your husband, your wife, your cousin, your brother, your, your, you know what I mean? The dude next door. They're going to ask you, hey, if we put you in this Medicaid LTSS program, do you think that it will benefit you? Now, if you don't know what to say, get your pen out because I'm going to tell you everything. You know what I mean? And it's real easy. So if you got a good memory, I'm going to just drop it on you. When they say, do you think that you'll benefit from this program? I got one word for you. Y-E-S. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Tell them, listen, my needs have changed. I got a different level of care. I'm trying to get into this program because I need a paid aid. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's just getting too hard for me. You know what I'm saying? Tell them. Now, if you forget all that, all you got to do is say yes. Now, you know why I say that? Because your doctor already told them that you, you know, you jacked up and that you need a little help. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Listen, I need a little help, doc. He didn't already put the word in for you with the insurance company. Now the insurance company comes straight at you. KC, let me talk to you for a second. How you feel? Look, I need a little help. I'm jacked up. You feel me? Now, this thing is going to go a long way because you are the speaker. Now, when you talk to him, tell him what you need. You know what I mean? Like, Okay, I just fixed my father's breakfast. I helped him get his, I help, I help him get his, uh, his, uh, his toothbrush, his washcloth, his towel. You know, get get cleaned up for the day. Get his clothes out, laid out. You know what I'm saying? Got his slippers together for him. I had to help him put on on one of his socks. You know what I'm saying? These are the kind of things. If you need it, this is what it's this is what it's all about. That's called activities of daily living. All the little things that I just mentioned, plus a, a million more things, you know what I'm saying? I just fixed this dude lunch. He ain't asked me for a snack in a minute, you know what I'm saying? So all that kind of stuff, if you need help with that, man, don't be afraid to tell anybody. You know what I'm saying? Rakia, how you doing today? Look, hashtag live if you with me on a live. Hashtag rebroadcast if you with me on a rebroadcast. Also, if you got a good question, you know, put it in the, put it in the comments, you know what I'm saying? And definitely don't be afraid to share because... You got a lot of family members in Medicaid, and none of them are getting paid. You see what I'm saying? You okay? Okay, okay. Drop it in there, baby. If that's who that is, they need to call me, man, because ain't not, ain't no fun unless my friends could get some. So if you on here now and your friends need some, some help, they need to get into the program. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Three easy steps. Is Medicaid a scam? I don't know. I, they ain't scam none of my none of my favorite clients, and all my clients is my favorite. You understand what I'm saying? This thing is good, and it's excellent help if you need it. You know what I mean? If you're in the Medicaid program and you need somebody a little help around the house, this is you. This should call it. Don't let other people talk that talk, and then you be thinking like, "Oh, this is a scam." Them people don't don't have no education. When I say education, they don't know nothing. That's what I mean. You are highly educated because you're on this show with me every day. You know everything it is to know. Them other dudes, listen, I'm trying to get this, I'm trying to get this good home health care, and that's that. You know what I'm saying? Get my son a check taking care of me. Get my daughter a check. Get my husband a check. Get my loved one a check. You know what I'm saying? Financial stability for everybody. That's really what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about for the person taking care of you. But what it's all about for you is getting a paid aid somebody permanent that you can use all the time. How you going to do that? Medicaid long-term health care program. Now, look, before this phone die, I got to get out of here, all right? But look, I got a lot of things going on. Just created a new page. It's called KC Buys Houses. We creating a lot of uh, a lot of opportunity for people in the real estate phases. You know what I mean? And, and uh, it's really good. I need you to check it out. If you want to buy, if you want to sell, if you want to wholesale, if you want to hold... Uh, hold and rent. If you if you thinking about uh, uh, buying and flipping, 
You know what I mean? If you think about doing syndication, multifamily, whatever it is, I just created a platform for you, man. I'm going to kick it off really soon. Let me know how you like it, all right? In the meantime, if you need any help getting into the program, if you're already in Medicaid and you need help getting into the LTSS program where you can get you a paid aid, call me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Y'all know KC love them hearts, man. The hearts, the likes. Show me as much Facebook love as you can. Don't forget to share this program because you got a lot of family that needs to see this. You know what I mean? We all know somebody with Medicaid that needs a little help. And if that person only knew that they could get the help out of the long-term uh, 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 long term care services program, you know what I mean? The world would be a better place. All right? So, look, I love you, man. Don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that, you know, taking care of other people is bad business. We doing this to get our blessings, man. When I get to the gates, they're going to say, yo, is that KC? Let him in, baby. So look, you here with me, and I know you coming through. And when I see you at the gate, I'm going to tell you, come on, man, because he been doing his thing. He definitely helped his parents out, his loved ones out. Whatever it is you got to do for some other people today, go ahead and make it happen. Put that paycheck in your pocket, too, all right, if you can. If you can, all right? If not, man, we're going to think of something else, all right? I love you, man. Talk to you tomorrow.